On the Mishnah in Pirkei Avot, the Mishnah says, This world is a pozdol. This world is a hallway to the next world. What's a hallway, Rabbi You know what a hallway is? When you go to a wedding, why do we have hallways? You go to a wedding, right? You go all dressed up. You have hallways, and you have the main hallway. Everyone's dancing, the chatan and the kala are there. Why do we have hallways? Because just in case you have to fix your tie, just in case you have to fix your hair, clean your glasses a little bit, you know, you fix it up, you do a little touch-up in the hallway, then you go straight to the main hall and dance with the chatan and kala, all happy. That's the point of a hallway, by the way. So, so to this world, the Mishnah says, it's compared to a hallway. What does that mean? What it means is we came to this world 85% perfect, 90% perfect. We just have to do a little touch-up in this world. We just have to fix our ties a little bit. We have to fix our hair a little bit. But we came almost perfect to go inside the wedding hall. So too, this world is a pozdo. It's a hallway to go into Alamaba. We just have to fix ourselves up a little bit in this world. But we're almost perfect. We're not perfect. Our job is to become perfect in this world. We're almost perfect. We have to fix our actions a little bit. We have to control our yetzara. We have to overcome the test in Yisinot on life. We should never give in to the society of life. We should always stand up for what's right. We should always say, we're going to learn Torah. We're going to keep Shabbat. And we love serving Hashem. And we want to serve Hashem. Every person has own level. Every person has a mission in this world. But that mission is just a touch up. Know that you're already 85% perfect. Know that you're almost there. That's how the Mishra compares this world to just a whole way. Because you're almost there before the wedding hall, before Allah Mabba, just fix yourself up a little bit. It's not a big deal. This world is short and the direction is clear. The direction is clear. The Torah was written to give us direction. Don't get distraction in life. Do not get distracted. You know what's right. You know what's wrong. The Torah is 100% true. Follow it and live. Enjoy your life. Live. Know how much you're capable of. Know that even if you did Averot, even if a person sins, you open up the Sfri Magdushim, Hashem is waiting for you to come back. Hashem is waiting for you to come back. You know what that means? So how can a person have an excuse? Oh, I did a vote, I can never come back. Are you, are you smarter than Hashem? I don't get this. Are you smarter than your Creator? Your Creator knows that you did a vote, and He's telling you, hey, come back, and He loves you so much. Like the Mishnah says, Zarakti alechemayim to Urim. Yom HaKippurim is the day that Hashem throws the day on us. Hashem throws the repentance on you because He loves you so much, and He knows what you're capable of. Let's appreciate the awesome day that's coming up, Yom HaKippurim. Let's understand the tremendous, the tremendous day that we have. Let's understand the unbelievable love Hashem has for us and what we're capable of and how much He's waiting for us. The mission is clear. The relationship between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu becomes clear on Yom HaKippurim. But take that message through the whole year and always, always run towards HaKadosh Baruch Hu.